Good morning, everyone. My name is Jessica. I'm one of the pastors here at Twin Lakes Church, and it's great to be joining you today for the video daily Devo. You know, I don't know about you, but there have been times in my life where I have really struggled with discontentment. I find myself dwelling on the one thing I think that if I have this, I will be content. Sound familiar? You know, for a while, for me, it was when I was single. I thought, well, once I get married, then I'll be content. And then once I was married, it was like, oh, when I have children, I'll be content. And we do have two amazing and awesome children and I'm pretty content, but I find that I'm still looking for that one thing. Like what is the next thing I need before I feel fulfilled or content? You know, maybe for you, it's something you want to own. Like when we finally are able to buy our own house, then we'll have arrived or we'll be content. Or maybe you want a car that just doesn't break down on you all the time. Or you've been working so hard towards that promotion at work and you think when I get that promotion, that will be it, I will be content. But the thing is, we, we get it. We get to that life stage, we acquire that possession, we meet that goal, and the contentment we find is brief. Quickly, we move on to the next thing we think we need to be content. So why does this happen? Well, simply because we are looking to the wrong thing or things for our contentment. A long time ago, in a college, on a college campus very far away, I was sitting in chapel, and there's a woman named Jill Briscoe that is a Christian author and speaker, and she was speaking at our chapel that day. And she said something that I wrote down on the inside cover of my Bible, and I still have that Bible. And it's a statement that I have looked at and returned to repeatedly in the decades since I was sitting in chapel. And she had this to say, she said, the content of contentment is Christ. I'm gonna say that again. The content of contentment is Christ. Why am I experiencing discontentment? Well, it's because I'm looking for something or someone other than Jesus Christ to find contentment, and that always results in disappointment. The Apostle Paul weighed in on this topic when he wrote these words to the believers in Philippi. Philippians 4, 11 to 13 says, I'm not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content that whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. It is in Christ that we find contentment, and it is through him that we have the strength to face whatever difficulties life throws at us. I encourage you today to shift your focus away from that thing you currently think you need that thing that you think will provide your fulfillment and to fix your eyes firmly on Jesus Christ. I hope you have a wonderful day.